Hey guys, welcome back to the Shire. If you're new here, welcome to the Cozy Shire. My name is Rebecca and I am a stay-at-home mom and an online reseller across six different platforms. On this channel, I do thrift hauls and I'm starting to do some thrift with me's. I'm doing what sold videos and I have a whole playlist of me going through my death pile. Today's video is a what sold. We're going to do what sold in the last two weeks of February. So that is February 15th to the 28th. If you're not new here, you probably notice I am in another new room. I know in a lot of my other videos, I've been having a lot of uh, children squealing in the background when I'm editing, so I'm sure you guys are hearing that too. I promise they are happy squeals and the children are being looked after, but I'm trying to avoid some of that. So I'm actually in the breezeway of my house right now. It's not the prettiest room, but it is pretty quiet because it is away from the rest of the main house. It is also freezing out here, so I'm wearing a coat. But um, I think hopefully this will be a better spot audio-wise to do the video. And hopefully it's not too echoey. There's really not much in this room to uh, keep it from echoing. But aside from that, hopefully this will be a little bit better. So first I'm going to go through the stats of the sales for the 15th to the 28th. Then we'll go through each of the items that sold. And then at the end of the video, I'll do a full wrap up for the whole month of February of 2022. Per usual, I have my laptop in front of me here so I can give you all the numbers. So I will be looking down for a bit when I'm looking at those. And uh, once we get to each of the items that sold, I'll slide to the side. So I can probably over here post a picture of the item that sold so you can see what it is I am talking about. So for February 15th to the 28th, that was a total of 14 days, I had 20 items sold and eight of those items were from my death pile. I had a sale on every single platform in those two weeks, which is pretty good when you sell on six different platforms. That doesn't usually happen. So six of my sales were from Poshmark, and that was the highest performing platform with 30%. Then eBay had five sales at 25%. Kitizen had four sales, which is a lot higher than Kitizen usually has. So Kitizen had four sales at 20%. Marketplace and Mercari each had two sales, and that made up 10% each. And then Curtsy had one sale for 5%. My gross sales was $440.65 and my total fees was $144.03. A lot of times my fees are, are lower than a lot of other resellers because I don't do free shipping on barely anything. Um, I do do free shipping on the kids and sales because that's kind of how that platform works. Um, but for the other platforms, I don't do free shipping typically. My net profit before taxes, so this does take out cost of goods and any platform fees, was $273.31. Okay, so now we're going to get into each of the items that sold. And as I said, at the end of that is when I will go over my stats for the entire month of February. So make sure you stick around until the end. My first sale for this two-week span was on the 15th. I actually had two sales on the 15th. The first was this pair of Calvin Klein New With Tag Jeans High Rise Boot Cut Medium Wash with Whiskering. They were a size 24 and those sold on Curtsy. They sold for $23, which was, it was an offer. I kind of went back and forth with the buyer a couple times and we ended up on $23. And I made $13.40 uh, in net profit on those. Those sold in 16 days. Um, that was a fairly small size, a size 24. And it was kind of one of those things I wasn't sure. Um, I don't usually sell Calvin Klein, but I picked these up off Facebook Marketplace um, with some other things I had bought. But those technically were a death pile item. It was just a fairly new, like I got it, I think just before Christmas. So those were still, um, they sold pretty quickly, 16 days. And I had $5 into those jeans. My other sale from the 15th were these Cole Haan shoes. These sold on Poshmark. They were the Cole Haan Tan Nike Air Geraldo Wingtip Derby shoes in a size 11. These ended up selling for $30 and I made $22.82 
on Poshmark. They took 254 days to sell. Um, I know Kohan can be a good brand. I'm not sure if these were oversaturated or what the deal was. I'd gotten some even lower offers that I didn't take, but uh, I mean, I'd probably still pick them up. I had a really low average cost of goods because these were from a yard sale. So I only had a dollar and 18 cents into them. Our next sale was on the 16th and it was this vintage Gillette made in USA, all metal razor, three inches. I grabbed this from a yard sale, average cost of goods of 91 cents. Um, I just thought it looked cool. <laughs> I know it's like an old razor, it seems kind of weird, but it did have made in the USA stamped on it. So obviously I knew it was vintage. I mean, you could look at it and tell it was vintage. And there's probably just collectors out there who like things like this. Maybe they're barbers or something. Um, so that's all on Facebook Marketplace for $12.90 because I had a sale running and I made $11.08 in net profit. That took 207 days to sell because I think I picked that up and listed it over the summer. On February 17th, we had one sale. It was a curtsy sale. Nope. <laughs> It was a Kittizen sale, and it was this pair of Mount Everest tan leather Cory 9 hiking boots size 2. So they were like a, is that a big kid size 2 or little kid size 2? Um, bigger than toddlers. So they're children size 2. Those sold for $25 free shipping on Kittizen. And I made $11.95 in net profit. They took 195 days to sell. I picked these up at a yard sale for a dollar. They were in really good condition. I'd never really heard of Mount Everest. Um, so it's probably not like, you know, a high in demand brand, but they still sold. On February 19th, I had two sales. The first one was this men's Wrangler shirt. It was a Wrangler Rancher shirt, plaid flannel, pearl snap, red, black, white, um, size large. And this sold on Poshmark. Someone sent me an offer of $15 so that I took. I made $9 in profit and that sold in five days. I may have been able to get a little bit more for it, but I think I only had it listed at 20 to start with. Um, and I'm, <laughs> these days I'm just trying to keep things moving. I'm not really looking to fight over, you know, two, three, four, five dollars in most cases. So that was a fine profit for me and it has moved on to its new owner. The other sale I had that day was a really weird one. Um, it was a Halloween costume sold on Kittizen, went to Tennessee, and it was a penguin Halloween costume. It was the Humane, the Humane Society fluffy penguin Halloween costume in a size six to nine months. I don't know what someone's doing with a penguin costume in February, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I got this from a yard sale for my daughter to wear for Halloween this past year, and we just didn't really do dress up Halloween very much. So uh, she never ended up wearing it. I made a net profit of $8.31 because it sold for $17 free ship over there on Kittizen. That took 136 days. I am glad to have moved it though because it was fluffy, so it took up a decent amount of room in my totes. On February 20th, we actually had three sales. The first one was a Facebook Marketplace sale. It was this weatherproof purple and brown quilted fleece lined zipper and snap vest in a size 2XL. I had $1 into it from a yard sale and someone bought it for $16. I made $13.83 and it took 88 days to sell. It did have a little bit of a flaw where one of the like snap buttons um, had come apart on the back. So I don't even think this was an offer. I think this is just what I had it listed at and someone bought it. I do think I lowered the price. I think it was originally like $18 maybe and I lowered it to 16 and someone bought it. The second sale that day was a Mercari sale. It was this pink Victoria's Secret pink zip up hoodie, logo, graphic, print, animal print, size small. So it's pink the brand and pink in color. Um, this was like an older one. It was from a several years ago, I think, or it seemed like it was. I picked it up for 25 cents at a yard sale and it sold on an offer from Mercari for $14 and I made $11.64. That only took four days to sell. What I'm finding with pink branded things is like shirts or 
I don't think I really had pink bottoms, but shirts and jackets and things like that, if they say pink, like big logo branded, I think that's what people are looking for. Those seem to do better for me. They sell pretty quickly. They don't really sell for a lot, so I wouldn't pay a lot for them. But I did have somebody, um, I think I originally had it listed at either 18 or 20, and someone on, I think it was 18, someone on Poshmark asked if I would do like 12. And I told them, I was like, I could go down to 15, but not 12 right now. So someone sent me that $14 offer on Mercari though. Mercari takes less fees. So I was okay with doing that and just moving it and keeping things going. The last sale from that day was a Poshmark sale and it was this Jansport pink and, or is it? Jansport tan pink brown plaid, 17 inch laptop, backpack, book bag, lots of pockets. <laughs> um, I originally listed it at 20, I think, sent out offers for 18 and someone accepted that. There was a lot of interest on this on several different platforms. I was really surprised. I didn't think, like, I didn't think Jansport was really anything, but people seem to like Jansport uh, backpacks. So that sold on Poshmark, $18. I made $14.40. It took 39 days to sell. And I didn't have anything into this. So quick story time. Um, this was free at a yard sale because they this yard sale had advertised on Facebook that their yard sale was ending and until a certain time that day, everything that was left was just free and until a certain time, then they were gonna donate it all to like Goodwill or whatever. So um, I went over there and grabbed what I could that I thought would be worth selling. And I was like, I don't have a bag to put it in. And they had this backpack laying there. I was like, okay, I'll just grab the backpack, throw everything in it, and then probably donate the backpack later. But you know, being a reseller, you're like, well, I'll just make sure I'll look up and see if the backpack's worth anything. And it seemed like it was worth selling. So I had a couple little uh, stains on it, not bad at all. I was able to clean those up for the most part. And it was in really good condition otherwise. It was, um, like I said, it was a laptop backpack. So it had that padded slot in the back. And yeah, so <laughs> I wouldn't typically pick those up, but I'll probably at least look them up if I see them in the future and they're in good condition. Our next sale was February 21st, and it was this new with tags, Old Navy, blue, long, sleeveless cardigan, size small. I bought this at a yard sale for a dollar because it was new with tags, and it eventually sold for $9. My net profit was $5.05 because that sold on Poshmark and it took 597 days to sell. Uh, I would not pick that up now. <laughs> it was not worth it, um, even new with tags. I mean, I think it was almost $40 when it was new, but I think, yeah, not worth it. I didn't have any sales on February 22nd, but we move into the 23rd and I had one sale on eBay and it was this Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic Light Resort Cardi with hood, pink blush size, medium, style 905. Um, this was from the death pile. I had four Barefoot Dreams cardigans. Uh, this is the only one to have sold so far. Um, and I only had $1 into it. So it sold on eBay for $40 plus shipping. I made $33.49 and it took 15 days to sell. This one did have a fair amount of interest on it in other platforms. Um, definitely more than the other cardigans I have. I think it maybe is just the color because it was like that light pink blush and we're going into spring. So it's probably more desirable than the darker colors that I have. On the 24th, I had one sale also on eBay. This was a new Nelson automatic hose shut off mechanical yard watering timer. I have $1 into it. It sold for $15 plus shipping. That $15 was uh, my full asking price, I made $12.04 and it took 72 days to sell. So I think it's another one of those things we're starting to get into spring and people are starting to buy things to, you know, do things outside, like things with their lawns. So I do have, um, I bought two of these from a yard sale. I still have one left and the gentleman who bought this from me actually sent me a message like the next day and was like, hey, can you know, can you ship both of these together? You know, he only bought one, but he's like, can you ship both of these together? Um, I guess basically to save on shipping. And I was like, oh, I already shipped it because I ship next day whenever I can. 
It's like, I already shipped it, but if you're interested in the other one, I'll give you 20% off. So I'd sell it to him for $12, um, you know, if he wanted that one, but he never got back to me. So, um, I don't know. The other one's still available. We'll see what happens with that one. On February 25th, I had four sales. So the first one was on Poshmark. It was this pair of Gap Skinny Fit Factory Distressed Dark Indigo Jeans in a size 12. When I listed these, I honestly couldn't tell if they were like pants or if they were capris. So I don't, I think I just said they were jeans um, and put the measurements in so someone would have to figure that out on their own. But uh, this was through the closet clear out method that I use. Um, I sent them a message basically saying, I can offer you this price. If you're interested, let me know. And then I'll lower the listing price instead of just lowering it and hoping someone buys it. Um, that is the method from Becky Park on Poshmark. I've been doing that for a while. Super hit or miss on whether it's gonna work, but it worked this time. I had 47 cents from a yard sale into these and they sold for $20. I made $15.53 and they took 30 days to sell. The next sale was also from a closet clear out message that I had sent on Poshmark. It was this relativity gray, red, big button down varsity letter style cardigan in a size medium. This was something from my personal closet. Honestly, pretty surprised it sold. So I had nothing into it. I had bought it at a thrift store years ago and barely wore it. Um, it sold for $10 and that was on Poshmark. So I made $7 and five cents and it only took 28 days to sell. And this is one of those things where some people don't agree with like just listing whatever clothes you have because they feel like it's just filler on your store. But I mean, if someone will buy it, like, you know, even if you're making just a couple bucks, if you took that to a yard sale, I definitely only charge like a buck probably for it or you donate it and get nothing back. So I am more than willing to take $7 for it. <laughs> I'll do that all day long. We have two more sales from the 25th. The first one was on Kittizen. This is a Disney Winnie the Pooh embroidered denim button up pocket shirt, size 22W slash 24W. So I had $1 into this from a yard sale. This is one of those pieces that I think is just so cutesy and fun. Um, I didn't know for sure if it was vintage, so I did not say it was vintage, but it did sell on Kittizen. And I've actually sold a fair amount of women's pieces on Kittizen um, over kids' pieces. That's probably partially because I have a lot more women's than I do kids' pieces, but don't be afraid to list women's clothes on Kittizen too, because they definitely will sell. So this sold for $35 free shipping. So that was a big difference. I actually listed it at $40 originally, um, but I they, they can't make offers. So it's just what upper offer you send. So I sent her a $35 offer. I still made $23.15 and that only took three days to sell. So I was very happy to move that along. And I think this sold, yes, it sold actually to a place that's only like an hour from me. It's still in Pennsylvania. So it's always cool when it stays kind of local. The last sale from the 25th was this Land's End Drifter light blue cable knit sweater, 100% cotton, size large, 14, 16. This sold for $20 on eBay and I made $17.82. It sold in six days. This one was from that same yard sale where I found that backpack. So it was free. Um, it was just sitting on the table and I picked it up and I was like, this looks like it's in really good condition. I don't even know if anyone wore it. So uh, maybe not like the trendiest thing, but it sold in six days and I made $17. So I think Land's End is a pretty good brand as far as like sweaters and winter wear goes. So after that four sales on the 25th, we moved to the 26th, I had two sales. The first one was this Happy Trails, a tribute to Roy Rogers plate two, Home on the Range, 1994, with a certificate of authenticity. This was, um, well, first it sold for 20, no, it sold for $10 plus shipping. The buyer was $24.75 all in um, because it was like a two pound shipping rate. I only made $8.95 and it took 83 days to sell. So this was my grandparents. Um, if you've watched my other videos, um, 
my grandmother passed away this past summer. So my parents have been going through a lot of her things and some of the things my dad has tried to sell locally. And if he can't sell them, then he kind of passes them to me if I want them to sell. So she had, they had a lot of these collector's plates. They had two of these happy trail plates, not exactly the same. This is just one of them. And then I don't know how many, like eight maybe, eight of these, um, a soap opera what is it the young and the restless uh like collector's plates all of those are still listed this is the only plate that has sold so far i deeply regret even listing these they take up so much room they're expensive to ship because they have to ship at a two pound rate it's just it's just not a great thing but um you know once again we're making some money we're moving them um i make pretty good offers to everybody else who uh likes them and I'll keep lowering the price to move them out as, as time goes on. But anyway, so that's the story behind that plate. I'm glad one of them has moved. <laughs> the second sale on the 26th was this pair of H&M men's and brag straight leg fitted waist dark wash jeans size 36 by 34. These sold on an offer that I received for $15 on eBay. And I had $1 into them from a yard sale. I made $11.61. They took 533 days to sell. I've never, I don't really sell H&M. I don't think it's particularly like a great brand to pick up to resell. I did look these up, I think at the yard sale or something similar to them when I was at the yard sale. And I thought they'd sell for 20 to 25, but I've been sitting on them. So I don't know. I would not go out of my way to pick something like this up. <laughs> on the 27th, I had one sale. It was on Kitizen. I sold this new Karen Disney Winnie the Pooh latch hook kit size 13 inch by 13 inch, made in USA. I had $3 into this from a local uh, church thrift shop and it sold for $20.70. I had a net profit of $9.31 and it took 48 days to sell. When I bought this, I had bought one that was Tigger as well, which I don't know if it was in the last, I think it was in January is what sold maybe, but that sold I think same day or next day. Um, Winnie the Pooh took a little bit longer, but this actually sold to one of my Instagram friends. Um, her Instagram handle is Tiny Adventures plus Hudson Kids. She is also a Kitizen reseller. So you can check her out. She does literally the funniest reels on, um, on Instagram and she is just a really sweet person. So her name is Megan. Thank you, Megan. I hope your son loves this latch hook kit. So our last sale of the month was a Mercari sale and it was on the last day of the month on the 28th. It was this Sensi Buddy Yuna, um, it was a Scentsy Buddy, so I guess there's some kind of like scent packets you can kind of put in the back of them. And I guess your kids can kind of like cuddle up to them. And I don't know if you put like lavender in there to help them sleep, I'm not entirely sure. Um, this one was supposed to have like a mini Buddy, like it's supposed to be in her dress pocket, but it was missing that one. I didn't know that when I picked it up, I grabbed this at a thrift store. I paid $2.50 for it, which is kind of high for like a stuffed animal, but my thrift stores are kind of high and they probably saw Sensi, so they marked it up. This sold for $18, which was an offer on Mercari. I had it listed at 20, so 18 was a great offer. I made $12.88 and it took 54 days to sell. And the woman it went to, she said that her granddaughter collects these Sensi buddies. So she actually asked if I had any more <laughs> and I had to inform her that I did not. This was the only one that I had. So those were all of the items that sold in February, well, the second half of February, February 15th to the 28th of 2022. So let's look at the entire month of February as a whole. So February had 28 days and I sold a total of 36 items. So my goal was to sell one item for each day there was. So my goal was to sell 28 items and I sold 36, so I was eight over, so that's amazing. <laughs> I love that. Um, and 16 items from that were from my death pile. So I've said this before, but list your death piles. I know it's nice to have a little bit um, of like back stock, so to speak, if something would happen, or you can't get out the source, but 
that's a lot of sales from a death pile. <laughs> so my recommendation is you get that older stuff listed. So I worked out the percentages like I did before for um, like how what the percentage of sales are from each platform. I did round these, so I think the total comes to like 101%. So none of you math people come for me. I know it doesn't add up to 100. I rounded it, you get the idea. So in the month of February, 13 of my sales came from Poshmark. So that made up 36% of my sales. eBay had 10 sales, which was 28%. Kitizen had five sales, that was 14%. Facebook Marketplace had four sales, which was 11%. And Mercari and, Cor Mercari and Curtsy each had two sales, that was 6% each. My gross sales for the entire month was $1,041.50. My total fees were $307.76 and my total net profit before taxes was $697.93. So that's pretty good for me. Now just remember, I'm not full-time at all. I'm barely part-time. I'm in between like hobby and part-time selling, I think. I don't put in a full part-time hours, but I have been putting in quite a few more hours, or at least feels like it, probably because I'm doing YouTube now and Instagram. So that definitely adds on to how long things take. So that was everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments how your February sales were, especially these last two weeks. I know there was Poshmark was doing some crazy stuff in the middle of the month that kind of freaked us all out. So I'm curious to hear if that affected you and if you were able to bounce back from it. I was definitely concerned for a little bit, but it doesn't seem to have affected me overall. I know there was the request to do these what sold videos once a week. Um, I think for now I'm going to keep doing it every two weeks. It does take time for me to have to sit down and prep everything and film these videos, record these videos. I swear, I'm never going to not say film, <laughs> but it takes time to have to sit down and record these videos. Um, and so I don't have screaming children running around. I need to do it when I have childcare. So that's not all the time. Um, and I am still trying to record other videos. So. I'm gonna keep doing every two weeks for right now. That may change, I change things all the time, so that may change in the future. But if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up, give it a like, and subscribe if you aren't already. I have more exciting content coming. You can look back and see my other What Sold videos if you wanna see what sold for me earlier in this year. And you can also check out my Death to the Death Pile series, which is starting to come to a close here soon. And I've started doing some day in the life, thrift with me kind of things as well. If you have Instagram, you can head over and follow me at the Cozy Shire. I do post there whenever I can. I try to give people updates and kind of see, you know, answer some questions or you can ask me questions and just chat about what's going on in the reselling community. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.